What's up my add-ons? Advantageous here, and I am welcoming you back to another theme team with my full Rotom team. For another post-commentated Wi-Fi battle. I don't know how much you guys like these things, but uh, here, there it is. So, uh, back here again. So, I saw this Mammoth Swine in Team Preview. I'm not showing you guys the Team Preview before. I just like to get right into it. Like, right into the meat. You know, not waste any time. Uh, so, I see this Mammoth Swine. I predicted it to um, lead, but wasn't much I could do about it. Uh, so, I knew the ice move was coming, so I switch into my physically defensive Rotom Heat. And he stays in and gets will o -Wisp, which is great. And then he goes for Earth Power, and I'm like, why? Why did you go for Earth Power? So I'm thinking now, like, okay, who am I playing? It must be someone who's probably new to Pokemon and just saw Earth Power super effective. And just clicked it. Not realizing that uh, Rotom has Levitate. So now he's clicked it twice in a row. And I'm just thinking, like, what are you doing? Like, seriously, what are you doing? Uh, but I am thinking that it's definitely Thick Fat, based on how well it took that overheat. I am, I don't have any special attack investment, but that still should have done a lot. Mammoth Swine's not exactly bulky. Uh, so here, I'm thinking all he has is Ice Shard for me. So I'm like, hey, I'm just gonna go get my screens up. And then he goes for Rest. I'm like, Rest? Why? So I was very confused at this point. Uh, so I just decided to start getting my screens up, uh, because I figured uh, either he wasn't going to let his Mammoth Swine down, or I could just get my screens up, bring something else in that could take this really well. Um, and then he reveals his final move, which is Sleep Talk. So it's Ice Shard, Earth Power, Sleep Talk, and Rex. And I'm like, that is a very different set. And you're going to see, this guy has some pretty cool sets. Like. It's almost like, I think he had almost like a theme team of his own, but it was pretty cool. I was, uh, I was very happy in this battle after it was over. Uh, so he's getting like all the luck. So Pip Knight, watch this video and you're going to be like upset at how much luck this guy's getting with his uh, rest sleep talks. He's get Ice Shard both times. The only thing that can touch me. And he gets it twice. So, uh, so now I know at this point uh, that he's got nothing for me. That he cannot touch my Rotom. Uh, no matter what he does, like, his ice shards just are not going to be doing enough. Uh, so here, uh, I don't remember what I went for. I think I went for Will of Us. Uh, no, I went for Overheat. And I miss. I don't think it would have done that much. But that's okay. So I don't want to take this incoming water move. So even if I switch out to Rotom. Oh, Rotom. Yes. Uh, and then he shows off the skull. Like, okay. Pretty cool. Uh, so now I realize, so I'm thinking like he either has Ice Beam or Ice Punch, uh, but I'm like, that's, that's fine, I'll just, I think I can get like a free Rain Man set up, so he reveals the Ice Punch, and I'm like, please don't freeze me, just be sheer force and not freeze me, I don't, I don't need that, I really don't. Uh, so I get my Rain Dance up, and now I can take another Ice Punch, so I know that I need Thunders coming his way. Oh, buddy, I'm, I'm getting excited. I'm like, I'm getting jittery trying to press that thunder button. And then he hits me with another ice punch. I'm like, please don't freeze, please don't freeze, please don't freeze. And then I get my thunder off and like, just watch this health bar drop. Just watch, look at it, look at it. And boom. Good night, Sally. That's just like, that's super, super powerful. I love it. I get a little bit back from leftovers. I just gave it leftovers to give it a little bit of longevity. So in comes, back comes the Mammoth Swine, so I know the Ice Shard's coming my way. Um, I'm just kind of, I've still got my screens up, and that's the only reason I live. I, I only went for that because I'm like, I've got some health investment. I can live this. And then I get, uh, yeah, then I got my Leap Storm up, and good night. So this Rotom is, like, putting in work. Uh, Rotom cuts, like, really awesome. Uh, so... My reflect goes away as he brings in Infernape. I'm like, oh, buddy. So my reflect wears off, and I'm really worried because, like, I'm thinking a possible close combat's coming. I know the rain's here. I'm like, okay, let's go into this. If he does something like a close combat, he'll take Rocky Helmet damage. And then he shows off the Flamethrower. I'm just like, oh, that's pretty cool. Like, special Infernape, I like that. And then he whips out the Zed move. And it's Vitidium Zed, so I'm like, okay, what is this? And I'm thinking, like, it's gotta be close combat. 
Like, unless he went for Zed Vacuum Wave, he's a fully special one. But I'm like, no, it's gotta be close combat. Because there aren't many, like, unless it was Focus Blast. I don't know that I ever found out. I think I might, I, I can't remember if I find out if he's got Focus Blast or not. Uh, but yeah, you can see the fully special defensive, or fully physically defensive. I take that really well, so I, I'm suspecting that it was close combat that he uh, Zed moved. And so he doesn't want to take another Thunderbolt with that thing. So in comes Hydreigon, and I'm like, oh, okay, here we go. This is going to be an issue because I actually have, like, I have Proton uh, Fridge, but it doesn't have an ice move. It's just an ice type. That's all it is. Uh, so thinking that a nice special attack is coming my way, um, I switch into Rotom, and that does a heap. Like, I am fully specially defensive, and that Dragon Breath is doing a ton. So I'm guessing this is modest, even though it's Dragon Breath. Um, if that was Dragon Pulse, good night, Rotom. I I would not be living. I would barely, maybe barely live to, if I was lucky. Uh, anyway, so I end up getting a Toxic, which is just great. It's making me feel tons better. Because uh, now I know this thing's going to get whittled down a little bit. Uh, so here I'm like, I'm looking at the damage and I'm thinking, I can live another one. And then I can pop my rest off. So resto chesto on this, just for a little bit of longevity. Um, yeah, my team had somewhat of longevity. No, maybe, yeah, three mons with healing. So... I tried to just make it very different, but it's hard to make a team super gimmicky and actually be able to compete in a match. Uh, so now I'm sitting here in front of this thing and I don't really have anything to hit it with. And then he whips out the roost. And it's like, okay, so you're bulky, seems, but I'm going to take a side hit it with the Thunderbolt. I'm just trying to whittle it down at this point. Um, I think I think it would have uh, gone down to Toxic that turn, or if not the next turn, but I just wanted to hit it. Uh, so, he's just gonna keep going for Roost, getting his health back up, but I'm like, looking at the Toxic timer, I'm like, you've been Toxic for three or four turns now, you're taking a, a good fair chunk. And then Hydro Pump misses, because, you know, it's Hydro Pump. I miss, it happens, you know, I deal with it. Um, so then he reveals the Crunch, and I'm like, oh, okay, so again, another mixed set. So it seems like, so far, all his Mons are mixed, they have... Special attack and a physical attack. And I missed another Hydro Pump. You know, if you guys were keeping track. Uh, so at this point, I'm realizing that all he's doing is just going for Roost. And he's, like, he's going to get stalled out. Like, he's not going to be able to keep this up. So I'm like, okay, well, let's, let's get my Rotom in here. Let's, uh, he seems intent on keeping this thing healthy. So I'm like, all right, let's bring it in. Let's get my screens back up. So he goes for Dragon Breath. And I'm like, oh, please love this. And I take it fairly well, so I'm uh, happy with that. I get my light screen off, so now his Dragon Breath won't be doing as much, but um, I do believe on this turn he's going to go for the Crunch. And he's got like one inch of health. I'm like, yeah, he's not going to go for Roost. It's like, I wish he did. That would have been nice. So I could get my other screen up, but like, ah, it's fine. So Rotom goes down, and then the Hydreigon goes down to Toxic. So good news for me. Um, so he decides to bring in Infernape, because I bring in Rotom! Surprise! Rotom! And I bring in Rotom Fridge, and I'm like, oh crap, um, I don't like this. And then I outsped, which is interesting, and I get the T-Wave off, which is what I really wanted. Um, I was thinking a Flamethrower was coming my way, so I'm like, okay, I can live this with Light Screen, and then get a Thunder Wave off. And he probably thought he burned me there, but that was just a Flame Orb kicking in. Uh, so here, I'm trying to get the full set going up. So I decided, like, let's swagger him, because it's not going to help him any. And so he's parafused, which is not as useful as it used to be, but, you know, that's fine. Uh, and then he reveals Slack Off on the Infernape. So I'm like, hey, he's got, like, recovery on almost every mon so far. So, like, you never see that. Um, so I'm thinking he probably has a lot of bulk in this thing as well, but Infernape is not that good. So unfortunately, he switches out this turn. Sorry, I got a little spit on me. Anyway, because I went for Psych Up this turn. I was trying to swagger him and then Psych Up the attack raises so that I could hit this. And I'm like, oh, 
sad buddy. I wanted to I wanted to hit you. Uh, so the Caesar is going to go for Bullet Punch, and it's not going to take me out. And then I decide to go for T-Wave um, and get this up, because I'm realizing like I'm at that point where regular Rotom can come in and kind of, you know, wreak havoc, because I'm getting, I'm getting damage on everything. You know, like I'm getting status. He's got the last two monster status, so Hex is perfect. Uh, then he switched out Caesar for some reason, and I just didn't want to deal with the, the paralysis. But I get a nice facade off before uh, work on paralysis went down, but I did pretty good. I paralyzed two mods. Uh, so here I'm thinking, okay, I just want to get one more status up, and then I can bring in regular Rotom. So I go for Toxic here, it lands wonderfully. And so I get the Toxic off, and then he actually goes for the rest. Again, so I'm pretty sure every single mon he had carried rest. I'm like, I wasn't even mad. I'm like, that's that's pretty neat. I, I, I like that. So here I'm thinking, okay, now is the time. Let's do this. So I switch out, realizing that Hex will work with sleep because it's a status. So I'm like, he's got to sleep for sure this turn. And he goes for snore. Uh, which I'm like, oh, predicted, oh yeah, predicted the snore. So I'm realizing, like, I won't one-hit KO this, but uh, I outspeed everything that he's got now. And Rotom can literally just sweep, because he's got to stay asleep for another turn. Right there, so Hex goes off, even if he had woken up the, t the turn previous, um, Hex still would have taken him out at that range, because I'm choice specs. Uh, so in comes Infernape. Who is paralyzed and will not outspeed me under any circumstances. And I go for Hex, I outspeed, and we find out Infernape is not sashed. Uh, so even with the bulkier set, he's probably running. I don't I don't think you can really survive that. And then all that's left is the Caesar. I'm like, what do you have for me? Like, the only thing you can really take me out with is knockoff. I think I'm living that. And I almost K one hit KO it. I'm like, oh, and he goes for Silverman. I'm like, get the boost. Get the boost. And he didn't get the boost. So I'm like, ah, that's fine. And on his last Hail Mary play, he tried to go for Bullet Punch. No way at anything he would have taken me out. So I end up getting a late game, regular Rotom Sweep, which is what I wanted. So I think that's probably going to do it. Two videos. I think that's just fine. Uh, but very cool team. I'm guessing the Paraligator probably had rest as well, if I were to guess. Uh, but yeah, I was really enjoying that battle. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little road top suite. Oh, bye bye